Here we go. Camera, cameraman's coming around to get it. Yep, there you go. That's a beautiful shot. Oh, right on the oh, rock. I hate when the it's, only I hate rock. When it's marred by the rocks. Literally the only rock in the entire place. The establishment of the United Empire of Earth in 2546 was humanity's crowning achievement and a perfect encapsulation of who we are as a species. We escaped an overcrowded Earth to terraform and colonize other planets to aid in our expansion of space. That overreach sparked conflict with the alien civilization known as the Tavarim in the form of the First and Second Interstellar Wars. Eventually, conflict settled and the UE enjoyed a democracy led by citizen elected senators to keep the lights on across the empire, while the military protected the furthest reaches of the borders. And that's where you come in. Whether you want to make an honest living hauling cargo in your nomadic multi-purpose freighter ship, race through space in your 100 series luxury ship, or test the limit of the law and those who enforce it, a new life among the stars is waiting for you in Star Citizen. I'm Grant Pooh Bear, and this is Other Worlds, a show in which we spotlight the world of lesser known competitive games and communities that drive them. Buckle up, because today we're looking at Star Citizen Racing. Star Citizen is a first-person MMO space simulator developed by Cloud Imperium Games, a studio led by Chris Roberts, the creative force behind the classic 1990s series Wing Commander, one of my personal favorites, and 2003's Freelancer. The game debuted on Kickstarter aimed at fans of Roberts' previous titles with the weighty marketing line, everything that made Wing Commander and Privateer slash Freelancer special. A lofty promise aimed at those with nostalgia for their original titles. I'd like to show you something I've been working on. That Kickstarter debut marked the beginning of Star Citizen's long relationship with crowdfunding. Eight years after its originally targeted release date, Star Citizen still isn't out, despite being one of the most successfully crowdsourced video games of all time. Additional funding continues through the web-based store that allows players to purchase new or lucrative ships, should they desire. In the age of early access games being the norm, Star Citizen is playable, although not feature complete. Early on, developer Cloud Imperium Games established a modular release cadence for Star Citizen. The first playable module being the hangar that allowed players to interact, show off, and even sit in the cockpit of their private spaceships without the ability to actually pilot it. But pilots eager to take to space didn't have to wait for long before they could engage in zero-g dogfighting. The Arena Commander module allowed pilots to engage in dogfights and race against AI opponents or other Star Citizen players, pushing the game closer and closer to the final version. But one glaring feature had yet to be implemented, getting out of your ship to explore, shoot, and engage with the environment, paving the way for the much delayed Star Marine and Persistent Universe modules. Star Marine finally allowed players to get their boots on the ground and their hands dirty in some first person space shooting multiplayer. And it was the release of the Persistent Universe module that combined everything that had come before it into a more streamlined, cohesive experience that finally allowed players to start a new life in the UEE with their own agenda. Everything is so detailed, you know? Like, you can spend hours just in your ship. You can you can go, like, there's a bunch of planets, a bunch of uh, places to visit. Uh, I love flying my ship. <laughs> no longer bound to space. Players can land on multiple planets and explore on foot or get behind the wheel of one of several ground-based vehicles. This universe is largely how the community enjoys the game, using its open-world design to facilitate role-playing centered around jobs, dogfighting, and even racing. It goes so much deeper than that. There's a role-playing community, there's a combat community, uh, and then even within those sub-communities, it, it, there's so many layers to it. Take a look at Rexil and his community organizing what feels like a recreation of some historic battles that have yet to come. <laughs> this is madness! Like any good open world, Star Citizen's universe facilitates players' creativity in the form of emergent gameplay. So what we try to do, and what we're, what we're continuing to do, is to build a sandbox with just limitless possibilities. What happens organically and naturally when you create such a massive playground is that people gravitate towards these you know, emergent gameplay opportunities, these, these events that are community and player driven. Emergent gameplay refers to the player manipulation of in-game mechanics that developers may not have explicitly designed. Kind of like a custom game of zombies in Halo, or using a my cart as an air vehicle in Breath of the Wild, or in the case of Star Citizen, a 510 kilometer race across the crusader moon known as Daymar. Introducing the Daymar Rally. Three divisions of vehicles, including buggies, trucks, and bikes. 
at least 156 teams with a max of four players per team, which breaks down to two drivers and two support pilots. That's over 300 racers total, not accounting for the additional support pilots and event officials needed. The drivers must race their respective vehicles across harsh terrain while dealing with the weapon fire from other racers. The driver support teams are tracking driver progress, serving as eyes in the sky when daytime gives way to night, and provide supplies and repairs over the course of the race. From a logistical perspective, the Daymar Rally feels like an act against the gods of Star Citizen. I'm a fan of F1 and Dakar and all of that, and Daymar just suits that Dakar environment. So I created a rule book. Uh, I, we started working on a trailer. I put something up in about three days, did a website for it, posted it on Reddit. And then for the next eight months, we started building up a bit of hype for it. We gave it eight months of hype. Then um, we had, you know, four servers worth of races and staff involved and, you know, a couple of hundred people in the first one. Now, now we're doing 14 servers, um, upwards of a thousand people running the event. So uh, it's kind of grown, yeah. Although Star Citizen isn't fully released, through over a decade of development, its creators' world, mechanics, and systems have managed to captivate the minds of players, allowing them to live out a new life in the United Empire of Earth. That fiery passion is lighting the pathway for the future of not just video games, but other worlds entirely. But it's time for me to go flex my racing skills at, we're doing one checkpoint, I believe, of the Daymar Rally here coming up. So we'll see how I do. So what we're doing today is we're actually doing the very first leg of the Daymar Rally. So what this is, is this is a endurance race with three divisions. We have hover bikes, we've got the buggies like the one that you're in now, and then we've got large trucks that are slower, but more robust. And essentially it's about a 556 kilometer race. Now, as far as I go, my job is to be your eye in the sky. So as you're racing along and trying to dodge everything down close, so I'll be behind you the entire way, trying to give you the best, the best job I can at uh, guiding you where you're going. Oh man, I'm, I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I mean, I'm really excited. Representing Red Bull, they're so into racing that I, I, if I don't, I have to finish not last. No, oh, I'm pumped. Oh, we got this. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> I cheated. I cheated. I didn't see it as a cheat. No. Oh, whoa. Oh, and we already we just, got our first. Yeah, we just you're good. Collided midair. You're good. I got you. <laughs> small rock, small rock. Oh, that was a bigger rock than I thought. <laughs> bigger rock than I thought. You do this enough times, you kind of you kind of learn after a little while what you can and cannot go through. I thought that was a baby. Okay, this is actually going to be okay. Oh, that's close. Oh, right up against that. That was beautiful. I planned that. Now don't forget that you can actually boost yourself by hitting, by holding down left shift. Oh, I so forgot So whenever you get yourself that. in a nice flat spot that you feel that you can get some speed, hold down that left shift and just shoot it. It gets harder to control at that point though, just so you're aware. Oh, look at you go. You are off now. Oh, I see someone. He's in oh, my yeah, sight. I'm hunting right him down. Oh, I'm hunting him down right now. I got the DRS on. We've got other events that actually have weapons free. This is this is actually one of them. However, most of our racers actually use these to race instead of using uh, weaponized vehicles. But you can. It, the day oh, our rally, would... once you get out of the armistice zone, you can blow up other other vehicles. Oh, I would love to. Just go right past it. Oh. Oh, oh here you go. Oh. You got him. That oh, was beautiful. I passed the one. That was such a good pass. That was the a great overtake, pass. The overtake in the DRS zone. Oh, yep, we're oh, 76 okay. kilometers out, so you're still doing good. We've done 14 kilometers so far. We didn't really train you how to play the game at all. No, It was no. pretty much just a, hey, look at this. Now look yeah. at this. Check yeah. this out. I was like I was like a kid the first time they go into like a, a playground. I was just like, oh my God, look at this toy. Look at this toy. We've got a saying that you cannot do good if you do not look good. <laughs> Coming down inside of a crater. And on the yep. other side, you've got a you've got a great jump if you want to take it. Just find you a spot and, and just launch yourself into some air. Yep, here we go. Camera, cameraman's coming around to get it. Yep, there you go. That's a beautiful shot. 
Oh, right on the oh, rock. Oh, I hate when it's, only hate rock. When it's marred by the rocks. Literally the only rock in the entire place. Crucian is passing you right now, I think. No. Yep. That's all right. We can Wait, get is back there, to there someone bombing this? Uh, yep, you're being shot at. Don't worry, our security will take care of it. Oh, and there goes our cameraman helping out, and there oh. goes security. Oh, God. They got your back. <laughs> you're good. This is awesome. Concentrate on racing. The security will take care of it. I'm definitely not paying attention to that dogfight in the air. Yeah. It's happening right now in the middle of our race. All right, Christian, I'm hunting you down. I'm hunting you down. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes a bomb. It's all right. You're still good. Okay, I'm getting shot at. Oh, yep. Oh, speaking up, and there goes security after him. Already trying to take care of it for you. This is so cool. So, question: Did they know this race was going to happen, or are these just kind of maybe random people? So you can you can get both, right? So we have yeah. we have people that uh, we have people that monitor everything we do. Mm -hmm. So. Those of us who work with Atmo all the time are kind of well known in the Star Citizen, uh, you know, yeah. in the Star Citizen areas. So take a right when you can. And we're gonna put you up on a nice bridge. Um, so line's still good. Yeah, you're still doing great. It looks like we got a heck of a battle going around. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just saw it. Security just took down one of the bad guys. <laughs> that was right in front of me. Yeah, so Crucian's behind you right now. He's coming up on your right-hand side. In fact, he's about to try to pass you. If you can get yourself a good, clean line, go ahead and boost. Boost now. Boost, boost, boost. Beautiful. There you go. Yeah, you're leaving it behind. Beautiful. Keep on that. He's right behind you. Ooh. You're doing good. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to keep Crucian. Crucian's trying to come up on your right. He just hit a rock, though, so you're good. You got a little good. bit. You got a little bit of distance in front of him now. So now we've got you. We've got you a little bit in front of him, which is great. Try to find All yourself right. a clean line. I think he just made a mistake, which is beautiful for us. You are so close. We are. We are less than two thousand away. So yeah, I see. Do you it. see that? You see that blue ship? Yep. Just to the right of that blue ship is a little building. Do you see the little I see building? It. Yep. I see the building. Okay. Park next to the stairs. And how do I get out, out again? Uh, it'll be hold Y. Don't even shut oh, off your vehicle. Just no. hold Y. Come on, you got this. You got this. And then what do I have Come to on. do when I'm in? I just have to go through just the doors? Just walk through both doors. Yep, all the way inside. Okay. There you go. Stop right there and jump out. Go. Get out. There you go. Get out. There you go. Come on, you got this. Get out. Where are you going? Come Where on. Where are you going? Right inside. Go. Go. Open the go. first door. Crucian is coming up behind go. you right now. Go. 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 Go in the first door. Go. go and then in. the hold down F and click on open. Got it. To your right. I'm in. I'm in. Okay, go to the second door. Cycle. Shut. He's right behind you. Hey! He just shut the door on him. Did you make it? Yep. I'm in. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm in. G G G's. G G's. Five. I'm six. I'm number six. You are not last. I am definitely not last. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of an idea here. Nice job, Let's see. Nice We've job, still nice got job. downfall still on the track. Neo Jet still on the that track. That was awesome. Detective still on the track. That was the day of our rally. Huge shout out to Atmo Esports and my partner Zool. Be sure to subscribe and look out for more episodes of Otherworld.